What is up, racers, drifters, and tuners? This is Tomcat9700 from TC 9700 Gaming, and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you um, a new video from a little series called uh, Circuit Spotlight. Basically, what Circuit Spotlight is is where I um, go to every single track uh, in the game, uh, drift on it, and basically upload my very first run for you guys. Um, and I can explain to you um, basically wherever I had trouble on the track. Um, some spots that you want to watch out for when you're drifting. So it's really all about informing you guys about the track and getting you guys to have better scores uh, in online drifting and just better drifting technique all over. Uh, or overall. <laughs> Sorry, I said it backwards. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so for this first episode, um, we're going to be in the Bernie's Alps. And uh, this isn't really used that much, uh, or it isn't really used at all, I think, in uh, online uh, drift rotation, uh, unless it's, uh, unless you're drifting in a player-created lobby, which can happen. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. And, uh, and basically, um, the main thing you want to remember about this track is that a lot of the corners are very high speed, and so that's gonna apply to drifting as well. Um, again, there are no drift points on in this video, uh, it's just pure technique, um, cause that's what this series is about, is pure technique, and, uh, again, helping you guys out. So, um, right off the line, um, just diving into this first corner, um, like I said, very high speed, um, I lose my drift just a little bit, and then I regain it, um, very quickly, um, so I get around that first corner, um, coming out of it at about 98 miles per hour, um, diving into this corner at 105 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for a drift. Um, we get out of this corner, they get to this next ver um, very wide sweeping corner, which actually um, is just a tad tricky because it goes slightly uphill and then, um, then drops down into this downhill section. Um, this downhill section can really um, get you to pick up a lot of speed, and that's what you want to be careful with in this U-shaped uh, corner, because if you carry too much speed, trust me, you're heading straight into the fence. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you want to make sure you stay out of the grass, um, and uh, just keep your momentum going so you can transition into this corner, uh, which is another long sweeping corner. Um, there's not much you can do right here um, with, uh, with this little tunnel section, um, but trust me, once you come out of it, um, this corner is actually uh, is actually quite a uh, tricky corner to uh, to drift correctly. Um, you can see I go outside the lines right there. And that was basically because I wasn't close enough to the apex of the corner um, to keep my car uh, in perfect drift balance. But you can see I get it um, get it done a lot better on this corner. Um, this next corner, same thing, very wide sweeping. Um, most all of these corners you can drift in third and fourth gear. Um, that's those are the gears I recommend using um, for this course if your car uh, is anywhere from uh, I'd say 570 uh, to 600 horsepower and above um, this is a great little section to practice your transitions in um, because it's just sweeping little transitions um, and this corner um, is challenging and long but once you get it it's really fun because it just flows um, this corner really it just flows for you once you get it down and um, and then uh, right across the bridge towards the finish line. And that's been uh, a circuit spotlight of the Bernese Alps and Forza Motorsport 4. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. And if you, uh, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, um, please leave me a like. And as always, I'm going to leave you guys off a little, with a little burnout. And uh, have a nice day, guys.